the knee will become more powerful as the foot is pointed downward. The side knee is called the T-tab. The parallel knee, or the knee lifting to the waist, is called the Jabnan. The tree on cot knee form is rarely seen these days as it is very difficult. The top tara knee form is done by folding the knee and hitting the lower stomach. The flying knee form is called the Wan on Hern. Next is a demonstration to hit the target by using the Jab Nang followed by the Tree on Cot form. Next is the foot training form. The high kick is called the Krutayan. Followed by the Bata Lupak. which is lifting the foot and using the sole to kick front and back. The lower kick is called the panton. The kicking parallel to the body is called the krun kratob fang. The high kick into the face is called the Chom Manfa. The Yano T form is kicking by using the sole and heel of the foot. It depends on the actions employed from front, back, and side. Asava Payot is the back kick. The crocodile kick is to turn the body and kick backwards. The Taiyan Dong is to jump and kick into the face. And the Chom Dara is to jump and shove into the face. Next is the inner fold kick and flip. Turn the body and then kick at the chin with a crocodile kick. In ancient days the teachers divided Thai boxing into three categories. There are twelve primary forms 12 secondary forms and 12 miscellaneous forms, altogether 36. If they're mixed together, more than 108 forms can be obtained. These 108 forms are being continuously developed. The outcome is infinite. After practicing each form, the boxer now mixes them to use. The Krun Kratob Fang the planton, the chom manfa. We can see each form clearly. The krun kratob fang is kicking into the body. The planton is kicking into the lower legs. The chom manfa is kicking into the face. Next, we look carefully again to see the use of each weapon for each spot. Now he is kicking from low to high. Planton is kicking the lower legs. Nakatawat Hang is to kick, recoil, and then kick the upper part. Finally, a crocodile kick. The next mixture between the kicking and punching. The Trung Tab, the Chom Man Fa, and the Asava Payot. See how this form is used and mixed. The primary, secondary and miscellaneous forms 
for offensive, defensive, dodging and avoiding. The fist training form is the trung tab, is a direct punch. The ron jack is punching into the face. The sabat crit is punching into the rib. And the pichit suik is punching to the lower chin. Now watch a combination of these powerful punches. Next is the elbow training form. Elbowing the lower chin is called a pasatan. Elbowing the body is called a yutyota. Turning the body with the back elbow is called the nangliyo. And the naka fat hang is to turn the body and kick the neck. Now a mixture of punching, elbowing and kneeing. Yot yuta is a knee to the body, followed by the tree tab. Klom kwang is a strike to the face with the elbow. And kio payak is elbowing the lower chin. Next is the continuous use of weapons. The forms are not repetitive, including the use of elbow, knee, and elbow. The corrective and continuous forms are the totara followed by the yanoti to the face. Tackling the offensive and defensive strategies by various forms. When the opponent is at the disadvantage, the boxing strategy is to kick. The lower parts followed by the chom man fa, which is kicking into the face. When the opponent shows his weak point, followed by the tayan dong, which is jump and step on the opponent's front legs, then kick into his face. Next is using a strategy to bemuse, trick and deceive the opponent. Begin with the yanyoti by shoving the shoulder to prevent against a punch, followed by the chomdara which is to jump and shove into the face. The opponent loses control. The van on hern is to jump and knee the lower chin. When at the disadvantage, the tring tab fist. He lures the opponent by the monto nang tan. <laughs> 